for those of you who this won't be boring for, uh, let's learn how to count hands. Um, so yeah, counting hands is, uh, well, I'll teach you by example. Um, say you hold nine of hearts, eight of clubs, and uh, the board is ace of hearts, ten of clubs, nine of clubs. Um, I'm sure you guys understand intuitively that it's very, very hard So for your opponent, regardless of what the hell his preflop range is, how he got here, to have nines on this board, right? Because there are two nines missing, and nines becomes a very rare hand. Whereas a hand like queen jack like, is, is really easy to make here. There are lots of ways to make queen jack. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm going to be coughing a lot because my voice is very hoarse because I've been trying this many, many times tonight. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so uh, Queen Jack is very, very common here. Um, so counting hands is the way to make that explicit, the way to to actually quantify how, how much more often someone can have Queen Jack than nines here, and obviously all other hands apply as well. Um, so the, what you actually do is you figure out the number of different ways to make a specific hand. For example, here there's only one way to make nines, and that is the nine of spades, nine of diamonds. It's the only possible way, um, but there are many, many ways to make queen jack. There's the queen of hearts, the jack of hearts. There's the queen of diamonds, the jack of spades. There's the queen of diamonds, the jack of hearts. There are all these different ways, right? So here's how you do this. Um, I should have said this at the beginning of the slide, but again, if you know this, uh, skip ahead, see if you know the next thing, etc., etc., etc. Um, so here are the number of possible hands for villain. Again, I'm not discounting anything. I'm not assuming anything about villain. Here, I'm just saying how many hands he could possibly have of each thing. Um, queen Jack, there are 16 possible combinations. The way that you know that is because there are four Jacks possible. There are four Jacks in the deck and none of them are out. So there are four, four Jacks possible and four Queens possible. And you just multiply four times four, 16. Um, Ace King, there are three Aces possible because one is missing. And there are four Kings possible, that's 12 combinations. For uh, nine ten, there are three tens possible because one is missing, and two nines possible because we have a nine and one is on the board. So that makes six combinations of nine ten. Uh, combinations is just the vocabulary word that people use to describe what they're talking about here. Um, yeah, it's the unit of measure here. Um, suited hands are a bit different. Um, what you do for for how many? So say you, you think your opponent only has queen jack suited preflop or something to get here, right? The number of possible combinations of queen jack suited on this board. Um, just depends on how many suits are free in both a queen and a jack. So there are no queens and jacks out, so there are four. All four suits are possible for queen-jack, but like a 9-10 suited, um, the 9 of hearts is out and the 9 of clubs are out. That rem that leaves just the um, diamonds and spades remaining. There are no 9s or 10s of diamonds and spades out, so that leaves two combinations of 9-10 suited. 